My sister and I decided to start Think Before You Type because we saw people being cyberbullied on Twitter and we really didn't like the negative impact it had on them. So we talked about it and we decided that even though we hadn't done anything like this before, that we wanted to try our best and make a change because we knew we could either just let it continue to happen or try to make a difference. Okay, so Lauren and I started Think Before You Type back in the summer of 2012. And it all started because we went to cyber school during the previous school year and we had spent like way too much of our time on Twitter. And we saw that like a lot of people were cyberbullying each other and we were like, whoa, like that's really not okay. And no one really seemed to be doing anything about it. We just started talking about it and we were like, hey, like we should really start something. So like we made a YouTube channel and like a blog and everything and we just started. We work online and in the community to try to raise awareness about cyberbullying, promote positive self-esteem, and encourage other young people to use the internet for good. So we do this through our video dares, in which we dare people to go out and do something simple and positive for the people around them. For instance, in the month of February, we did a dare all about homelessness, and we dared people to go out and find out more about the issue and then work on impacting those who are suffering from homelessness. Hey guys, it's Elle from Think Before You Type, and I'm here with your dare for the month of February. This February, we'll and we really hope to empower people our age and of all ages to go out and do these things. Hey guys, it's VNL from Think Before You Type, and we're here with Maxwell. Wait, again? She said I was lovely before. Are you kidding me? Okay, I promise you guys. I am lovely, but no, I want to say thank you so much for thinking before you type. It's so amazing what you two have been doing with this. Oh, and the dare, you need to know how to keep on paying it We work through blog do. posts and interviews online where we speak with influential individuals about cyberbullying, self-esteem, and internet that use. And then we also go out and speak in the community and we speak with students and teachers and people of all different backgrounds about cyberbullying. Cyberbullying unfortunately can negatively affect young people in the fact that they can often feel isolated and it's hard for them to get away from the bullying that is occurring because it's something that can follow them through their smartphone or their computer and it can follow them home. And when it's combined with depression, it can unfortunately lead to things like suicide and self-harm along with the fact that no one wants to feel alone, no one wants to feel bullied, just those simple things can really end up having a negative impact on things like self-esteem and grades as well. Well, a big part of the problem is that so many people see that, oh, I'm behind a computer screen, like you feel more powerful, no one can see you. In a lot of cases, you can be anonymous, so it's so much easier to be like, hey, like, I can say what I want, you don't see the person's reaction. Which is Our effects we're hoping will be long-lasting. We would really love to see people becoming upstanders. We want them to know how they can have a positive impact when cyberbullying is occurring. And we want to also help people start thinking about the issue of self-esteem more and how it can have a huge impact on the lives of young people. And we also just want young people to go out on the internet and start doing positive things for people. Thank you.